What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 79 and we started today's episode off by getting some tournament prize money from the board after progressing to the Champions League semi-finals in the last game in the last episode against Borussia Dortmund so into the Champions League semi-finals and the first of two games in today's episode is an FA Cup semi-final against Liverpool here at Wembley. We faced Liverpool just a couple of games ago in the league away at Anfield and beat them by two goals to one. So now we take them on in the FA Cup semi-final, the other tie is Arsenal versus Chelsea. Really looking forward to this game and of course right now I discussed it at the back end of the last episode we're going for three trophies come the end of the season. The Premier League the FA Cup and of course the Champions League as well. This won the FA Cup here. Hopeful of retaining it after winning it last season and adding that to hopefully two new trophies for this year in the Premier League and the Champions League as well. Still taking on Liverpool at Wembley here. The first chance fell to us early on but Dominic Iolfa's shot was well saved by Mignolet and turned behind for a corner. But five minutes later a great chance for us to take the lead once again as I offer finds Williams here. Takes it around his man and chips it down the right side towards Lloyd Isgrove. He beats Alberto Moreno with the fake shot. What about this for a cross? And the header in the far post as well is turned in by guess who? Mario Balotelli. He didn't score against Liverpool at Anfield a couple of games ago but he does score here against his former club at Wembley. What a cross though by Lloyd Isgrove. I mean that was absolutely sensational. A superb ball by the former Saints winger. Picks out Mario Balotelli who scores against his former side and opens the scoring here at Wembley. So Liverpool nil, Watford won, Balotelli with the opening goal of the game. And Liverpool in this game started off absolutely terribly. It was almost like they were still stuck on the team bus. They did not know what they were doing and they were trying to pass out from the back at every single opportunity. And some teams can do it. A lot of teams in Karima can do it, but sometimes they just can't do it and they just need to hoof it. They kept on giving me the ball back and therefore giving me loads of chances and Mignolet was set for a really busy afternoon as things stood because they just kept giving the ball away. But we did the same here in the 34th minute and we had Jack Butler to thank here for doing his best Manuel Neuer impression to stop his England teammate Daniel Sturridge. That was really, really lucky. I gave the ball away. Sturridge has all the pace he ran through but Butler comes charging out of goal and denies him now with a great slide tackle and keeps it at 1-0. But on the stroke of half time, Lloyd Isgrove would turn from provider to scorer to give us a two goal cushion going into the break. The former Saints winger takes his chance here and gets a goal to add to his assist for his start in this game as well. Got really fortunate though as Iorfa goes through, he gets tackled but the ball deflects into the path of Lloyd Isgrove who goes through one on one and Mignolet may be a little bit disappointed to be beaten at his near post there. There was a lot of shot power from the Welsh winger but either way it does go into the back of the net and it is Liverpool nil Watford 2 but at half time as you get the stats, you see the stats right here, 57% possession 9 shots, 7 of which on target. Liverpool looking really really poor in the first half whereas for us we were looking absolutely fantastic so in the second half Jurgen Klopp must have put a rocket up the backside of all of his players because they came out of the blocks flying had the first chance of the game there but that shot really well saved by Button at his near post and turned away so still 2-0 but from that we broke here and as Barkley finds Iorfa down the right hand side he has the pace on Alberto Moreno keeps on going drills in across to the far post and who does he pick out it's Troy Deeney once again and the Watford skipper or the former Watford skipper now I should say points to the badge the club he loves as he makes it Liverpool nil Watford free and you may have missed it in real time. You may miss it on the first two replays as well. The third replay is where you'll see it for definite. Check out what Troy Deeney does here when I offer drills to cross in. It's a no-look shot into the back of the net. A no-look flare shot, if you will, into the goal. I mean, he couldn't miss. It was a tap-in, really. But either way, this is the FA Cup semi-final. He's trying to guide the side he loves into the final for back-to-back -back FA Cup finals here. And he no-look shots the boys at the back of the net. Talk about confidence from Deeney, but not a real surprise. He's been playing so well of late, and that is a really, really easy finish. But he does make it 3 0 and puts a little bit of flair on it there. So 3 0 to Watford. Liverpool, to their credit, were playing much better in the second half than in the first half. You saw Sturridge heading that cross wide the post there and behind for a goal kick. And then in the 64th minute, Alberto Moreno was denied by a great stop by Butler, who's near post to keep it at 3 0. But every time we went forward in this game, we looked like scoring. And in the 71st minute, as Dominic Oorfa and Ruben Loftus cheek play a 1 2 here, the right back gets on the ball, plays it through towards uh, Troy Deeney, looking for his second goal in the game and he gets it as well. He just smacks the ball with as much short power as he can get and Mignolet once again possibly might be a little bit disappointed but I guess when you consider the fact there was just a few yards between the striker and the goalkeeper you can't really blame him but it just goes straight through his gloves really and into the back of the net. The bell just got to pick it out of the back of his net for the fourth time. Deeney scored two of those four goals. It's Liverpool nil, Watford four. So one of the best performances in this 
career mode so far. The FA Cup semi-final against a good side like Liverpool, but we weren't phased at all. What a superb performance. But sadly for us, with a minute and a half to go before the end of the game, we would lose our clean sheet. And this was a really, really nice goal as well. I'd slated Liverpool during this game because they were playing pretty poor. But this goal right here was so nice. I mean, the team build-up on this was just beautiful. There were a few passes before the, uh, the, the start of the move you saw in a highlight here as well. I mean, that was just absolutely inch perfect. Look at that movement. Really, really slick. And nine goal in the Belgian midfielder. Does grab a consolation goal for Liverpool and give the fans something to cheer about, if nothing else. So Liverpool won Watford 4. In stoppage time, we could have made it 5-1 and got our four-goal cushion back, if you will. A couple of headers here. First, Davis's header. Well saved by Mignolet. And then Dini looking for his hat-trick off the bench. Sadly, headed the ball just wide at the post and behind for a goal kick. But it was how the game would finish. Final score at Wembley. Liverpool 1, Watford 4. Without doubt, one of our best performances in the series so far. What a win. And we are into the FA Cup final for the second time in two years as we look to retain our trophy. So really, really pleased with that. And it was such a great performance as well. Without doubt, one of the best performances of the series so far. Because going into that game, yes, we beat Borussia Dortmund in the week by two goals to nil away in Germany. Confidence would have been sky high. But in terms of tiredness, there has to be some changes being made to the squad as well. I was thinking possibly because we've had so many games in quick succession, Liverpool might, you know, as a good passing side, they can do this, you know, basically just stretch the game out a little bit, tie your legs out. But instead, we look like the side that were energised. You know what I mean? Like, we would look like the far better side in terms of energy levels, which was the opposite of what I was expecting, really. I thought we'd be gonna, we were going to be quite laboured in our play, but instead, we put in a really good shift and we're full value for the win. The stats showed that as well. A fantastic performance, one of the best of the series so far. And we can rebook our hotels in London because we are going back there for the FA Cup final in just a few weeks. So really, really pleased with that. And we take on West Bromwich Albion for the second and final game of today's episode here. So when career mode teams collide, as I take on my fifth, uh, few of 15 career mode side here at Vicarage Road, West Brom currently sitting in ninth place under Tony Pulis. With us, of course, with just five games to go. We are six points clear of United, though. And as things stand, still top of the table, into the FA Cup final, into the Champions League semi-finals, And of course, also, as things stand, favourites to win the Premier League for the first time in the series. We're taking on West Brom here at Vicarage Road, back in the Premier League. First chance fell to us, but Ryan Tallis shot was well saved by Ben Foster there. Good save by the goalkeeper, and it was still nil-nil. But from his kick out here, West Brom going a counter, as it's played through for Rondon here. I lunged in with Laporta stupidly, gave Rondon a really good chance to make it 1-0, but it was a superb stop by Butland at his near post, and he turned the shot behind for a corner, so still nil-nil. Then the 18th minute here, a great chance to make it 1-0 for us again. Deeney runs through. He's got two against Liverpool off the bench, so I thought I'd reward him with a start in this game, but once again, Ben Foster is there, and it remains goalless. But in the 38th minute, a great chance for the Baggies to take a surprise lead here as Callum McManaman gets on the ball. He gives it to Rondon, and unfortunately for us, the away side would take the lead just over six minutes before the break here. The South American striker making it 1-0 to the Baggies, and this was just really, really poor defending. I mean, the goal that Liverpool scored in the last game in the FA Cup semi-final, there was nothing I could do about it. It was glorious. I don't know what on earth I was doing there. Where my positioning was with the players, I do not know. And Rondon does score to make it Watford nil at West Bromwich Albion 1. So the away side taking a shot clean, but the fact of the matter is, in the first half, they were the far better side. They were looking really, really good. They had more possession than us. Six shots and four of which on target compared to our four and one. And in the second half as well, they still look like the far better side. 13 minutes after the restart, the right back Gamboa finds McManaman and he's denied by a really good save by Butland as it remains 1-0. And in the 70th minute, another chance for West Brom here to make it 2-0 and extend our lead. Bernard goes down the right-hand side here and Riedeval can't catch up. He crosses the ball into the centre and who's there to head it in? It's Rondon once again. He'd been looking lively all game and he gets his second goal to make it Watford nil, West Bromwich Albion 2. And who would have thought this coming into this game at Vicarage Road? Our home form has been fantastic all season long on the back of two fantastic wins, three fantastic wins really, against Liverpool, Borussia Dortmund and then Liverpool again in the FA Cup. But in this game at Vicarage Road, Tony Pulis' side came to play and try and knock us off top spot and allow United back into the title race. And for us, we were all over the place. I just played terribly in this game. I was really, really poor. I don't know why, but I just could not get it sorted with the passing in this game. And I could not get too many chances on the board either. Our final one fell there, but Conor Plianka's shot from the free kick hit the post. And eventually it was cleared away by the baggies. And Tony Pulis' side come away from Vicarage Road with a win, thanks to Ron Don's double. So on another day, I think we could have got a point. As you can see, the stats here were quite balanced. But sadly for us, the South Americans brace does ensure that West Brom claim a shock win. No one would have thought of that coming into the game. And it's exactly what happened. West Brom win it by 
two goals to nil. And the significance of that means that with four games to go in the Premier League, United have closed the gap at the top of the table to just three points. Can we hold on to top spot? Can we win our first ever Premier League title? It's going to be a very dramatic finish. Don't miss any of the remaining episodes in career mode, guys. We've got the Champions League semi-finals to come in the next episode. A big game against Villa in the Premier League as well. Our last game away from home. And of course, the FA Cup final to come as well. But that does it in the episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode of Career Mode, then please do leave a like. And I will see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.